Hi there everyone, my name's Maura and I just wanted to share with you today how I came about using the services of Mind uh, of Norfolk and Waveney. I started my journey um, a long time ago in my mental health. Um, I think I realised I was very ill um, at a very young age actually of seven years old but I came from a very dysfunctional family so that wasn't uncommon um, and I struggled with school, I struggled with friendships and I struggled to find my way and everything that seemingly looked very happy wasn't actually inside of me. Um, I was very creative and I was very impulsive as a child and a lot of people thought it was ADHD but um, I knew there was a lot more to it. So I struggled in school but I managed to scrape through and um, I had devastating relationships uh, with partners and my husband and um, after having my children I reached a rock bottom where I knew I had to do something otherwise I was going to find myself in a very sticky situation. So um, I started um, therapy and to start with there was no diagnosis. I wasn't diagnosed till very much later after about 10 years of in and out of the system um, trying to find a way forward. I also went to self-help groups because my father was an alcoholic and my mother had an eating disorder. So the family set up and was very, very difficult and we were quite poor as well, which made it much harder uh, to grow in that environment. So um, at the end of my marriage, I reached another rock bottom and I decided for once and for all that I needed to do something and I began the journey of therapy. It wasn't until I lost my brother to a drug overdose that I realised that I needed to really do something. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired and I stepped through the doors of mind. I remember Two people from Mind saw me in an office and I remember feeling as low as I could be because I just thought there's no way out of this. I'm just going to go and I'm going to go through department to department and no one's going to believe me and I'll just keep turning around and round. But I was met with kindness and to my disbelief, they completely listened to what I had to say and weren't even shocked um, to what I was feeling. They, they just said, right, okay, and they took notes and they offered me a place on a wonderful program called Waves that helps the attendees and those diagnosed with a personality disorder to explore uh, cognitive behavioral therapy techniques. Now that is, uh, for those who don't know what CBT is, um, it is a way of learning to deal with your problems. Rather than running away from them, they teach you techniques. And this was coupled um, with other techniques that they had and we would do that in the morning and then in the afternoon we would do practice our social skills and I never realized that our social my social skills were uh, very lacking <laughs> I really struggled with people and it, it was actually that session uh, in the afternoon that used to leave me exhausted uh, which is one of the uh, symptoms of my BPD is that I really struggle with other people um, and it takes me a, it takes a lot of energy for me to work out what they need and work out how I can exist in this relationship so yeah 
Um, I, I honestly don't think that if I hadn't come to mind and done that year long course with, with Waves, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I, I do honestly believe that it came exactly at the right time. It came at a time when I needed that help. It came at a time when I was at rock bottom, where I thought there was no solution. And so what happens is it just opens up your, your heart and your mind to welcome something uh, that is going to uh, give you a new perspective on your mental health. Not, not just literally put you in a case uh, by case sort of situation or, or category. It's going to be something that gives you the power back to give you time to work out where you are uh, in your life and how you want to run your recovery. They give you the tools, so you end up with a wonderful toolbox of techniques and things to return to when you're feeling low. Because I still have days like that. I, I still do. And, and I always will. And that's okay. But I know that I don't need to run to drink or drugs or whatever, um, you know, to fix me in any way. I can go, right, okay, this is what I should be doing. So yeah, so I, I don't think that I would be I, I managed to get married again and, and I really get on very well with my husband. We have small fallings out but we really understand each other and I'm not afraid um, of the relationship at all. I don't feel uh, insecure in it because I'm able to state my own needs. And I've managed to finish a master's degree um, and for someone who's dyslexic with another disability as well, um, you know, I never thought that poss possible. And I'm learning to have um, great attention to what I do, but also to have confidence in what I do, um, because that was very lacking. I have been through so many uh, backward trips that I just thought I'll never achieve at anything but actually you can and and I achieved a distinction and now I'm going to be looking for a job uh, which is scary but um, I know that I have the tools so yeah that's that's my story really and uh, just the last question um, I hope that if anyone is listening to this and you're thinking about your life and where you are just remember that just for today it may seem like it's it's absolute hell and you'll never get out of it but what i can say is the only thing that saw me through this was just to keep plodding on and to find somebody who will eventually hear you witness your story and hold out a hand because we never know when we're ready to receive this help. And, and when you are, you'll be in the right place. Thank you.